The Indiana State Department of Health has reported 2,300 more COVID cases today. 19 more Hoosiers have died from COVID. Indiana has had more than 996,000 positive cases since the pandemic began. More than 4,200 additional Hoosiers are now considered fully vaccinated. Now, the FDA is looking into vaccine boosters today. In fact, an FDA advisory panel endorsed the Johnson & Johnson COVID booster shot. Today at 5, our Jay Gray tells us what this means for people who got the J&J &J vaccine. Um, 19 out of 19. With a unanimous vote this afternoon, the Food and Drug Administration has added Johnson & Johnson to its emergency authorization list of COVID booster shots. We want to provide optimal protection against COVID, and we know that a booster dose will do that. Right now, Pfizer is the only option for a single-shot booster. Vaccines from Moderna and J&J &J have been recommended by the FDA, and within a few weeks, both are expected to be formally approved by the Centers for Disease Control. As the back and forth over boosters continues, for millions, so does the lingering debate over whether to get the initial dose. It's just a lot of all over the place and a lot of uh, uncertainty. Mark Hall hadn't had the shot and didn't plan on getting it when he struck up a conversation in a Florida bar with Dr. Dwayne Mitchell. And I said, this is kind of a little bit of a wild story. Their bar chatter turned into a three and a half hour discussion about COVID and the vaccine. Literally, it was a debate. Hall knew administering the vaccine was not a part of the doctor's routine at the University of Florida. So in a last ditch effort to avoid the jab, he said, you do it, uh, fine, let's do it. And without hesitation, he jumped up, fine, we'll figure out a way. And we were able to meet up a couple of, literally within a few days and, uh, and with him and his family having him take his first shot. He won't be eligible for a booster until six months after his second injection. Jay Gray, NBC News. And there's new research out today that reveals COVID cases among children peaked in, De in September. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, more than 6 million kids have tested positive for COVID-19 since the beginning of this pandemic. More than 1.1 million new cases were recorded from September 3rd to the 10th. New data from the CDC tonight shows COVID deaths among children under the age of 15 also reached its highest level in September with 41 kids dying from COVID between September 4th and October 2nd. Well, there's certainly a lot to process here with boosters and all the approval process. We've got more on the FDA approval, the booster discussion, and ways you can protect yourself. You'll find it here on WTHR.com slash coronavirus.